Love sucks. This is something we all said at least once. At least once in a lifetime, we were all highly disappointed by this totally overrated feeling. I have some questions for you, but you know what? Let me first present you someone. This is me. Or at least imagine that that was me three years ago. A strong, young, 18 years old girl from Moldova who moved here to Innsbruck to conquer. And lived by the motto, Penny, Fidi, Vici. And this is Dan, a young local musician whose biggest passion in life were his guitars and cigarettes. A real romantic bad boy. Think of, think of Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic, but with brown hair. <laughs> so, as the typical good girl, bad boy story goes, I fell for him. <laughs> like, literally fell. And that was, well, that was the worst decision of my life. Why? It all started like the Beauty and the Beast movie. A cold, distant, mysterious guy came across my way. And where all normal girls saw danger, I saw potential. <laughs> because this is what all cartoons teach young girls. Take the worst man in the world and cure him with the power of your endless love. <laughs> so did I. I fell in love with a person that wasn't there yet, but it was my duty to show him the right way. I even had a to-do list. First, make him go back to school and finish his A-levels. Second, make him quit smoking. Third, make him understand that wearing the same shirt for the third week in a row <laughs> is probably not the best idea. My plan was flawless, wasn't it? But the days were passing by and the ideal version of Dan wasn't there. Yet, something indeed changed. Instead of bringing Dan to my high standards, I adjusted myself to his low ones. I studied a bachelor degree and quit after a month. I thought that smoking might not be that disgusting, especially after I had one to two cigarettes myself. And as you could have guessed, I really didn't care about my appearance anymore. So my venue was accomplished but the other way around. Now, after a month, Dan told me that he really, really, really liked me, and he even broke up with his girlfriend. <laughs> Same as you right now, I had to be confused and surprised that there was a girlfriend in the first place. But somehow, the special snowflake complex inside of me ignored that information and went straight to celebration. He was mine. I actually judge his ex because, let's be honest, no good, loving, and truly caring woman can ever be left by a man. She definitely did something wrong. But what? I was so afraid to do the same mistake that I decided to make no mistakes. I was the perfect girlfriend who was always cherishing and never questioning. I was saying yes to every single dance offer and no to any guy that even thought about talking to me. 
When I realized that there might not be enough, I decided to give up on my own opinion because there was a high chance that my opinion was the wrong one. I didn't have contact with my old friends because Jan said that they're lame and boring. And I didn't talk to my family in months because that would make him angry. And before you judge me, let me ask you something. Have you ever had this deep, drowning feeling of fear? The fear of losing something that you worked so much for. I did. I was like Gollum who finally got his ring. <laughs> Happy, but insane. Now, do you remember at the beginning of my talk, I said that I have some questions for you? Well, now, after you gain some information about me, Dan, and our love story, I think it's the moment when you can try to answer them. So my questions are, why? Why did Dan break up with me? Why couldn't I leave my moment of Vichy? But also what? What else could I do to be good enough for him? I spent so many nights searching for an answer. And same as all roads lead to Rome, all roads led to love. Love was the problem. Falling in love was my greatest mistake. Love made my, my life miserable. Since then, I was very slowly but confidently falling out of love. And I even tried to forget about Dan. But something was holding me back. I realized what on the 22nd of July when I had a dinner out. Now think of love as the menu of a new restaurant. You're so hungry and overwhelmed that you just pick the first thing that you see. Now the waiter brings you the dish. You try it and you hate it. It tastes disgusting. What would you do? Would you decide that food in general sucks and that you have to fast for the rest of your life? No. You'll try a second time, a third time, a fourth time, a fifth time, because this menu has more than seven billion dishes. Now, same goes for love. Just because you picked the wrong partner who made you suffer doesn't mean that love in general suck. This revelation helped me. I understood that love didn't make my life miserable. The wrong partner did. And love didn't make me betray my values. The wrong guy did. Love was not the problem. My wrong life choices were. So I decided to stay single as long as it needed until I learned to make the right choices. Little did I know that in less than two months, on the 10th of September, my Cinderella story will begin. I met Max, a guy that I instantly liked, and I didn't want to change anything about him. Actually, his shape was perfect because we could connect. Or speaking the Tinder language, we were the perfect match. 
Was I hesitating at the beginning? Yes. Did I have trust issues? Sure. Did this relationship change me? Hell yeah. But this time, I didn't have to shrink myself. I grew. I teach and I learn. I love and I am loved. If you don't believe me, ask him. He's there. <laughs> so yeah, love sucks. This is something we all said at least once. But we all also once said, I love you. And we all deserve to at least once hear, I love you too. These magical moments are worth fighting for. Thank you.